Hi guys, Charity Shop Gold or Garbage, Thursday the 2nd of June 2022 and we went to Cainsham. Seem to go there quite a lot. A uh, couple of fairly random items here. I do this first. Misleading two rubber band power, sorry four rubber band powered fighter planes yeah rubber band powered in that they're catapult launch you don't have propellers and wind up or anything like that four awesome fighter planes that are ready for lift off in this fab kit all that's missing are the pilots fire the plane skyward from rubber band launches to see if you saw or crash and burn. Race your mates and find out which of you is the true top gun. Contents, four fighter planes to assemble, each with its own rubber band launcher. The Lagoon Group 2013. Well, it does look like it hasn't been opened. So we'll have a quick look inside. Yeah, that looks like they haven't been opened. Uh, not particularly big. But they do have a rubber band launcher. Double-sided foam board from the looks of it paper covering with the pattern on it. I expect they work. Obviously what caught my eye was rubber band power and then I actually read what was inside and I thought hmm £1.99 originally £7. That's a bit of a and that little logo there I think that's a National Trust site they bought that. Yeah, okay, well there's four in there, I wouldn't have paid one ninety nine for them brand new to be honest, but that's the way things get priced when you want to keep the kids occupied when they're getting bored. So yeah, okay, I bought it, uh, and then I bought this, I recognised it. I've seen them and I have looked at the price of them and they're usually pretty expensive. We've got a Peltier tile in the middle and that generates electricity when it's hot on one side and cold on the other. So the idea with these is you leave them on a hot surface, usually your Arga cooker or something like that, something that gets hot. All this at the top here is a heat sink to keep the top top side of the Peltier tile cool. So you've got a temperature difference between the two. And then it's simply directly connected to that electric motor. And I was thinking probably the best way I can try and demonstrate that. So I'll, I'll boil the kettle. I'll put some hot water in a shallow dish and we'll see if that's enough to get it going. It does say don't use the stove fan if the stove surface temperature exceeds 345 degrees centigrade. Hmm. Heat powered stove fan. I so say they're usually pretty expensive. So that's what I'll do. I'll go and boil some water and we'll see if we can get it to run. Right, I've just boiled the kettle and to give it a fighting chance of working I've actually put the fan in the freezer, but only for a few minutes. So, that's out of the freezer.
Pete's obviously got to travel up the uh, pillar in the middle before we get any voltage difference. I do believe that is moving. Just the tiniest bit. You put my finger there. Yep, yeah, it's definitely moving away from my finger. Yeah. Well, there you go. A demonstration of a Peltier tile. I might have a playlist on my Peltier tile projects. I've done a few. And if I haven't got a playlist, I will make one and put them all together. So check the playlist, uh, check the video description and there should be a playlist in there. So that is working because the bottom end is hot and the top end is cold. It's not exactly generating a great deal of wind, but there is a, a little bit of a breeze coming off there. You might expect because there's a breeze coming off there that helps to draw cooler air across the heat sink to keep it cool. I like that. That is going pretty well. £3.99 I paid for that. Right, I'm going to try this in reverse. Now at the moment it's still running because the bottom is hot and the top was cold, but I've put it on an ice pack. I'm hoping that that will cool the bottom down enough and the sun may heat up the top end and we might, just might, get it to go in reverse. It's certainly slowing down. I'm going to leave the camera running and see if we can, say, run it in reverse. I'm just going to move it a little bit. Just so we have got the sun hitting the veins on the back.
I've got anything else cold I can put on the bottom there. I'm sure it's moving. I'll have a look, see if I've got some more ice packs. problem is getting them on there so they don't fall off. I think that may be in the way. Should I give it a little push? <laughs> yeah. I probably didn't need to give it a push, I just probably needed patience. I think you can see that is working in reverse. So that's the ice packs on the bottom keeping the bottom half cold and the sun shining on the top half to make it warm. So again we have a temperature difference between the top and the bottom. Oh, I'm really pleased with that. Oh, I didn't expect to buy one of them today. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, 
and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.